Not since the no-fly zone was imposed over Libya have Tripoli's residents seen such an air show. French military helicopters signaling the arrival of Libya's highest level foreign visitors so far. British Prime Minister David Cameron and French President Nicolas Sarkozy have been the leading voices for NATO's action in Libya. Now they've come to see how it's worked out. Jointly, they visited Tripoli's main hospital and were nearly overwhelmed by appreciative crowds of medical staff. Accompanied by NTC chairman Mustafa Abdul Jalil, they met Libyans injured in the fight against Colonel Gaddafi's forces and paid tribute to their efforts. This was your revolution, not our revolution. It was those brave people in Misrata, in Benghazi, in Brega, in Zlitan, in Tripoli, in the Nafusa Mountains, who were incredibly brave in removing the dreadful dictatorship of Gaddafi. And I pay tribute to those people throughout Libya today. But it was NATO who enabled the Libyan rebels to succeed, something the Transitional Council warmly thanked the two European leaders for, with a reminder that their involvement was not over. We requested that both states continue to provide protection to civilians through the campaign, and they accepted our request. But President Sarkozy was clear that Libyans themselves had to actively seek a new form of government. Britain is offering as much advice and support on building a new government as Libya's NTC decides it wants. The hope here, in the wake of frustrations and mistakes in Iraq and Afghanistan, is that the world will help Libya get things right first time. Anita McNaught, Al Jazeera, Tripoli.